Hey everyone, I'm here to tell, talk to you about a really, really, really cool app. It's called Plickers. And Plickers is a really, really cool app because first of all, it's free, which is pretty cool. It's also available on Android devices and on iOS devices like uh, you know your iPad or your iPhone. And it only requires one device. How does it require just one device to be a student response system? Well, it uses cards. These are the cards. Each student gets a card. Each student within a class, you set up classes, each student would be assigned a number. So number one would always go to that same student. That's how it keeps track. It matches up class number one, card number one, that goes to Jonathan. Class number one, card number two goes to Sarah. Okay, so, so you have to keep con constantly make sure that Jonathan gets card number one and Sarah gets card number two. That's how it keeps track of who you are. Now, how does it keep track of responses if you just have cards and your phone or your tablet? Well, what it does here is that it looks at, takes a picture of the card and kind of makes a QR code scan of it. And it real, when you have A up at the top, then it reads A as the answer. If B is at the top, it reads B as the answer. So on this card, sorry, this card, it's card A. A is the answer. On this card, B is the answer. Okay, so you always have to hold the answer up and facing the, the, the application's camera. Okay, but these cards are free, and they're available on the Plicker website, which is P-L-I-C-K-E-R-S dot com, and I'll put a link right here down at the corner to with the web address, so if you want to click on that. Um, really great, 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 great program here. So how does this work? What you do is you start up your program, you start up the app, you, in, you put your students' names in, you, you know, set up an account. So sign up, you set up an account, then you put your classes in. So class number one, you put your students in. Now remember that each card goes to a specific person. So card number one is going to go to the first name you type in. And you can always print these up. It, it, it just, you can save the names and stuff. But you put your names in, and then you set up your classes. And then when you go to run clickers, you start up clickers. You say class one. And then when you ask a question, the students hold up their cards. Now remember, card how you hold the card up depends on what your answer is. Now what's kind of cool about this is that these things are all different shapes. So it's really hard to look at your neighbor and go, oh, what are they answering? You can't really tell what their answer is because the cards are too small. That's too small to read. You know, this one's B, but you're not, your neighbor is not going to see that that's a B. So you hold these cards up, and then the application goes through and takes a picture of it. So let me show you. When you hold up the cards, it takes a picture and then it matches up the card with the name. And it can do this really, really quick. In fact, here it's doing 12 at a time. So you don't have to sit there and take the piece of paper down and all that. You just hold it up. It'll say, okay, here's your answer. John, here's your answer, Jason. And real quick. And you don't have to worry about it scanning twice. Once it's got your answer, it's got your answer. And then you can really quickly find out what, are the, what did people answer. Okay, or, and you can do your questions, either write them on the board and just have them give you the answer, or you can create your questions on the phone or on the, the internet. Okay, and like I said, this is a great program. It's free. Uh, another plus to this program is, is, hey, you know, you don't have to worry about student response clickers. You don't have to worry about internet devices. All you need is your iPad, your iPhone, your tablet hooked up to the internet. Okay, and then maybe if you want to project it on the screen, the results have something that could display on the screen. But you don't need a whole bunch of clickers. All you need is one device and the cards. So it's not a big push. It's not really tough on the infrastructure because you only got one device running at a time. And it's also great if you, you don't have to worry about breaking something. 
If the card breaks, you just print up another card. If they lose the card, you print up another card. What I do is laminate the cards, and then that way they last longer, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. And you just go and download the cards. Okay, now down at the bottom here, I'm going to put the link to the, uh, the two applications, the Android app and the iOS app. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm on Twitter at G Hughley, G H E W G L E Y. I'm also all over the place. So if you need any questions, you have any questions or anything, hey, feel free to ask me. Thank you for watching my video.